बना दीजिए Just wait for another two minutes for people to join in. to pour here so I just got late I hope we don't have a network issue happening just crossing my fingers so we'll just wait for another two minutes guys had a nice week yeah I just opened the window to listen to the noise so it's nice to have a it gives you a nice rhythmic when you're doing it so it goes well with the dangling Sudden downpour which just started. So we'll we'll start the session. So today being the beginning of the month, I've chosen a tangle which is by a Japanese certified Zen tangle teacher. So. The Japan, Japanese uh, certified Zentangle teacher have an event for this month to go with the rainy season. So they have, so I haven't gone with their prompt, but I have taken one of the uh, certified Zentangle teachers tangle today for the session. So while we tangle, I will give you more information about the event and, and everything. So I hope you guys would like another pattern. It looks complex but it is not we just need to observe it right so the one what is there on the table right now is the uh, to tell me that to tell you all that I'm a certified Zentangle teacher by the from the Zentangle and I'm uh, authorized to take classes and any uh, the classes what I'm taking the sessions what I'm taking is only it's a complete ownership of mine proprietorship of mine so no further use by any of you all for commercial but you could use it to share it with your friends to enjoy it create happiness no further use of it in terms of teaching or anything and um, that's the thing about it which says so it's this is entangle is a beautiful art form um, which was created sometime early 2000 by Maria and Rick 
and uh, it's a certified uh, it's sorry it's a trademark and copyright of theirs so the, the teaching methodology is being taught to us to teach across to the people and uh, and this is a beautiful art form it's just not drawing it's beyond i think most of you will agree people who have been following with me so let's start our session let's do our preparation let's relax ourselves and let's relax our shoulders let's relax our neck let's relax our hands let us sit in a comfortable place because you're going to sit for another hour by now and let's do a normal breathing followed by deep breathing and the deep breathing just follow my instruction we'll do a six conscious deep breathing i understand we all do breathing but this is just to make ourselves aware and gratitude to the breath which is most important so we will do a conscious deep breathing of nicely inhaling and exhaling it and getting ourselves relaxed and uh, while you do a deep breathing i usually do the first three breathing is just the normal breathing the last three breathing we inhale good thoughts and memories and whatever you want to keep it and when we exhale we give away all the thoughts or anything which is bothering you we exhale it out by saying let it go so let's do a normal breathing and we'll do a six so i'll give you a count of it you can do all the six of bringing in good memories and exhaling it out fine so and in the last we will we will be giving gratitude by from our mind and heart at this particular hour anything yourself the the supplies we have anything whom you feel like you want to give a gratitude give the gratitude say thank you and then we start our sessions so just take a normal breathing okay now let's take a nice deep breath and exhale it out take another nice deep breath exhale it out take another nice deep breath and exhale it out take beautiful thoughts while you're exhaling right now memories bringing a smile on your face take a nice deep breath and exhale it out let it go take another nice deep breath with your memories and bringing a smile on your face and let it go take another last deep breath with beautiful smile on your face and let it go start our session so today we are going to do people have joined in this says the session is completely proprietary of me as being a certified zentangle teacher no further use for teaching commercial or non commercial is not allowed and i am grateful to you all of you let's relax and tangle today we are going to the supplies what i use is a zentangle tile which is a 3 and a half inch tile uh, which is a good texture and very nice so if you do not have this 3 and a half inch tile you can use any of the art paper or uh, card stock or a good paper which doesn't bleed can absorb the pen ink and the pen supply would be i'll be using a sakura pen and i'm using a zentangle graphite pencil and a stub or a tortilla these are what i use primarily because i'm using a pen nib now so you could use a finer pen nib or whatever if you do not have this pen sakura pen you could use any normal pen which doesn't bleed and your artwork is can be there 
so because you're doing the hard work for the one hour and enjoying it and believing in the process so so i would suggest that you use a good pen if not for sakura use a good pen and uh, the zendangle graphite pencil and the stub if you do not have it is fine if you use a good uh, uh, graphite pencil normal graphite pencil you could use a normal graphite pencil and uh, stub and the uh, tortillon is primarily used for shading and giving a nice three dimensional effect if you do not have a stub or a uh, tortillon you could use a normal uh, earbud is also good enough or you could roll the paper stiffened and we could use it so like always we will do a practice so we'll do a practice and today's pattern what we're going to do is a uh, from by a Japanese uh, certified zentangle teacher. Her name is Emiko Kaniko. That's the name, and she's a certified zentangle teacher. And the pattern name is called uh, Nayu. She's named this pattern on her on a memory of a cousin, whom a cousin. So she's named it as a thing. So the reason I chose the Japanese uh, artist today for the Zendangle session today was Japanese certified Zendangle teacher is doing an event uh, to the season of the monsoon. So they are celebrating it by giving an event where we have a prompt for the whole of the month for 16 days. So by each of the certified Zendangle teacher. So today's prompt which is June 1st is by the certified Zendangle teacher. So I have not used that prompt but I am using a different prompt. So the uh, in Japanese Tizu which is T-S-U-Y-U means to you. So, so they named the event as TU Tangle 2021. So, so as a result, I have taken this Japanese uh, pattern today. I will see if I can use for the whole of the month uh, the patterns from the uh, Japanese team. So, let's see how it goes. So, this is showing our support to them. Okay. So, this is a pattern which is again a grid pattern. So, I'm just going to draw a square grid. So I'm going to do this pattern as a grid. You can do it free, but if you want, you can able to do it, do it free, or you can do it, or you can use just one small grid. You can just draw the square one grid and then do it. I felt more comfortable. So what I will tell you, the tricks that I use it is that I draw the grid and I just draw a line right at the center, and then I draw a small square. So just like last class what I thought about the square in the uh, saga pattern which I did in the last session. So ensure when you're drawing this particular square, draw it little light. Then what we do, right at the tip you're going to do a uh, kind of a raindrop which is going well with the event and the time I'm having. Right now it is pouring out here in the place where I live. So we will do this. Now then what we do, we join from here but we don't join it completely from there to here. Okay, let me just, let's just zoom it. Right? I don't join it completely. I leave it kind of a midway. And then what I do is I start from this and I draw an aura. And I stop at this line. And I this line which is here I'm going to go behind and then join it and then what I do is I just go behind this I draw the aura and then what we do is this line I just connected this line to this line from underneath and I draw again right and then what we do this line again I connected to this 
and I draw this and I just connect it off so what you get is it's up this particular is up it goes down and then it is again up and then down so I will show you again this little drawing little big then what we draw is we just draw small small orbs on all the four sides touching on either side of the wall and then we draw another big petal kind of a shape not a little petal but a different it's not a rice pearl also so we do it in all the sides now you are not comfortable using this as a filler you want to do something else you're most welcome to do something else today I'm not going to do showing variation because this is a little complex so I'm just going to leave it with this right so what we'll do is we will ink this space and we will ink these gaps that's what we will be doing it and we'll be drawing small small lines thinking these are small flowers so we'll be drawing these small small lines yeah that's it so now I'm going to demonstrate this again here so I'm just going to draw so I'm going to draw it with a pencil again but I'm going to draw some very light so because the, the darker line you draw of the square it will confuse you so ensure that right so we drew four now what we do is from here we are coming here and joining here and we are leaving it here and then we are doing aura of this going up going all the way up and then coming down right and then what we do once we have done there we will join this so this gets from this bead rice pearl joins this rice pearl and then this aura crosses and goes all around and comes simple right we follow the same thing here join this rice pearl to this rice pearl and get this line behind and that's it then what we do is we join this rice pearl to this rice pearl and then we take the aura taking the aura out and that's it so you get to see this is on the top now it's going down so this one is going down and this again top so we started from here second third fourth and then the fourth to one we connected is this clear Is this clear? You want me to repeat again? We are good right? So we will go create it. So what we will do is we will be inking up all the spaces. be inking up all the spaces right maybe so maybe I more you want to I will show it again once more but this is going to be a smaller one we leave a gap when you're drawing this rice pearl between this to this wall to this. Right? So we just 
we don't do a complete join we just start it and leave it we go all the way up with the aura line and then we join this one to two two rice pearl and we bring this aura which is behind from behind and go all the way around and we just then again join this rice pearl to this rice pearl bring the aura line from behind and we join and then what we do we join again this rice pearl to this rice pearl bring the aura from behind and then connect that's it right so let's go to the pattern and uh, before we go to the pattern let me just show you this is how it is going to be when you do it that's the reason the grid is very important so this is a swatch card of mine which is telling you so this is a swatch card of mine which is giving you the thing so if you can i am just going to bring it a little closer to show you see so i have done one two a three little incomplete and this one so i couldn't pick up my old one because this is sometime early last year end of end of last year this pattern was in, uh published so i had done it in colors and everything in tan tile but i haven't i couldn't pick it up at this day so so this is one and uh, this is another one on my sketchbook what i've done i've used this as a border and then i use some kind of an embellishments out here to just So looking like a dress kind of a stuff. So kind of done that. So that's another, right? So what we will be doing it today, what we will be creating today would be, we will be taking the tile. What I'm going to do is just going to do a very light line right at the center. I'm going to draw my string. I'm not putting the four dots. When I'm going to draw a little further from this, I'm going to draw a line. Little from this equal kind of a stuff. This particular center space, I'm going to leave it empty. Then what I'm going to do is because I like the pattern to be a little broader, so I take a little broader grid. So I take a nice broader grid. right and what i do is i felt comfortable what i did was i just drew a line from here and i made another grid here i made another grid here one two i got a nice good so i get a full I get a full square here, another full square, another full square, another. So I felt this is little broader, so I'm just going to make it little more smaller on this side. So, so basically, I divided, I drew a line right in the center. That's not my string, but that's just to draw my equal lines on either side. So I've drawn a line out here, and I've drawn a line out here. Then I kept a nice distance. So if you could see a distance of a nice sharp pencil. I've kept that distance and I've kept that distance. So if you see it, that's how we do take our measurement. We don't use tools. So and I did, and I've taken a square grid. So I've got one, two, three here, one, two, three, which is full, and these are incomplete ones. We will finish those ones also, right? So now I'm going to use my pen. I'm not going to do anything. Okay, and one more thing, what I will do is, I will be drawing a center line. just to tell me where i can draw my square the center square so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to outline all these places now so you will get to see the string which i'm going to use it clear because i'm going to ink it up right 
So again I rotate my towel to make myself comfortable. Right? And I'm going to do is by In this particular place if you want to correct your grid you can correct your grid. So that's going to be my grid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do an aura of small line out here. I'm going to do a uh, Nayu out here. I'm going to do the Nayu out here. And if you remember that I had drawn the center line, right? So I'm just going to make my small squares. So like I say, I do the repeat of the thing. Of the same stroke, so which makes me a little comfortable. If you're not comfortable drawing, it's basically a half triangle, half triangle. If you're not comfortable, then you rotate your triangle, your tile to your comfort, and then you could draw it. I'm not comfortable, so I can see that, right? And I'm just going to go here. I can't. I don't think I'll be able to draw a. So I'll assume in those places. So today I've chosen the this pattern called Nayo by a certified Zendangle teacher from Japan, Eniko. And uh, Japanese certified Zendangle teachers have an event called TU Tangle for this whole month. So I have chosen the, so there's going to be 16 prompts for the month. So I've cho chosen the first day prompt by Emiko's but not the prompt but I've used her pattern today. So if you see here what I'm going to do is so I'm going to just do an aura take your time don't be in a hurry so I'm going to join this pearl to this pearl and going behind Since I had zoomed, I'm just going to zoom out because later when I shade and draw completely, I will miss on it. So again then what? This is my one. So I always keep this side which is my first one. So I just join that and I go behind and I'm gone here. Then I join these two pearls again. Then I bring the behind one. Right? So, so let me show the pattern what we are drawing today. We are drawing this pattern today. So we draw small orbs on all the four sides right and we make the center one also as an orb and we're going to draw a small petal kind of a stuff so we will be doing this in all the places center petal then the side petals we'll be doing it that's it it's just that now we need to shade, ink it 
and that's it it's so simple right so we go now and when you're drawing this rice pearl remember that you will give a space between this grid line to this line you will leave a space and draw it so you will not draw it till the edge right so we start so it's always this so we're going to start from here this is my first I don't do the complete one and then I join these two rice pearl then I bring this line behind the aura line one and I bring it here then I join these these two rice pearl then I bring the line which is aura line behind right and then I join these two rice pearl and I bring these aura line You can draw the square little bigger if you want your center to be little more prominent you can draw so that your rice pearls are right and what we draw from here again we join your time no hurry so this is going to be an incomplete one so we will leave it as such so wherever you can complete it we will complete it right so what we're going to do is we're going to ink the center piece of it you can do it in color right it's going to ink it up just to show so that how the inking brings in the difference to the plane and then we'll be inking up all the space if your petals are going to come little wavy that's fine that's not a problem just enjoy the process and trust the process then what we do just going to draw lines out here I have inked it up so I am just going to ink this piece so I will come back and ink it up I just wanted to show that across that they have a Japanese certified tentacle teachers have the uh, the event so to support them I have chosen their pattern today to as a certified tentacle teacher to show our support to them so right so we will do it now on these two edges you can do another Nayu out here or what I would do is a different one. I will show it to you what I'm done. 
so people who have joined a little late i just showed them that this is one of the one which i showed that as i have done it as a different way and today what we're doing is a little different out here so right so i'm just going to make i'm just going to continue this across now i say that no the same strokes i end up doing it but today i would not want to do it because it is little confusing so i would complete one and then go to the second one so we're going to draw aura going to draw an aura join this rice pearl to this rice pearl then take this aura from behind and draw aura around it and bring it out here right then join these two rice pearl and bring the aura line behind right join these two rice pearl and bring this aura line from behind and then join these that's it what we left incomplete we joined it right and then what we do is on either of these spaces we're going to draw a small orb right and then we're going to draw a petal coming from this end to this end So we're doing a three leaf petal I am not demonstrating any variation in this session because this is little confusing so I'm just going with access of the pattern I've just shown different ways to do the pattern Shweta for allowing it. Hi Taru, nice to see you here. So I'm just going to do everything out here. The only the trick is going to be when I'm coming to these edges, I will assume that they are drawn there. So I'm going to just draw in half of the knot. And here again, I'm going to draw in half of the knot. And then I'm going to assume that the thing is there and I'm going to draw the petal out here. So that's how it is. So I will assume and I'm going to draw the petal. So I just don't leave it as a blank. Now the same thing out here. Here I will assume from it is going to come here and I'm going to draw. Right. And I'm going to say again this is going to be coming from here. I'm going to have this a little coming out here and then I'm going to have my petal so same way here the petal is going to be yeah. you see that so I haven't left these corner spaces I have done it on those corner spaces imagining my what will be on the other side and I'm going to continue and I thought that I've drawn and I've continued like that that's when your concentration builds in so that's why we say that this is an amazing so now we will do the same thing on this side right 
so if you see that people have not joined joining it i have drawn a square inside i drew a center line which is like the center line and then i've drawn a and i draw this very pencil light but i've now darkened it up but if you put it a little dark you may get confused so remember to draw it light then i'm drawing my rice pearls here on all the four sides i'm drawing the rice pearls or the tear drops right and then i'm going to use this as my first always i'm using this one as my first one and i'm just going to draw a line which is here and then i'm going to aura this and bringing it behind this is not completely then i'm joining this tear drop to this tear drop and bringing the line behind aura just behind and i'm just bought it right and then again i rotate my tie join this pearl to this pearl and bringing the aura from behind and just this makes me little comfortable so i just go behind and draw it like that right and then again i join this rice pearl to this rice pearl <coughs> right and i bring my aura line behind that's it that's why i chose today this prompt for us to say relax relax don't get stressed this is very simple pause play back pause play back what you could always try is doing the prompt in pencil behind and trying it out just on the behind you can practice it in pencil or take a sketchbook practice it and then you can draw it just take your time your time follow it it's easy simple it looks complex when you're looking at this pattern but it isn't even i had the same so this didn't come in the first go it came with practice so give it a practice but don't give it up right now again i go back this as my first so i'm just joining here you will be tempted to join the pearls just control that join the pearls here draw the aura from behind join this aura then bring it from behind right then join this rice pearl bring the aura line from behind and then join that's it then we draw the orbs out here this pattern she has named it after a cousin so the pattern name is nayu n a y u
she has done another pattern which is called cars and that's little complex and i've been playing around and trying to get it so today after really i think i've been trying i gave up in between and then i've left last year i left it up and today being the prompt i am trying on that so so that's another it's actually simple but you just need to get the right place to give the curve and there you go let's finish the full ones and then we'll go to those small ones so it's like a teardrop on all the four sides right and then i keep this as my first line and i draw my aura right and then i join my tear drops i bring from behind the aura i go behind it and i just join the tear drops bring the aura from behind right and then i go join this tear drop to this tear drop and then again i bring the aura from behind and i just joined this line and this line so my So if you see this went big because I went to concentrate look at my watch so my concentration went off and my pen's pen stroke went on its own direction and given that this is going to be no space so we just going to draw that's it and we just going to leave it Now we'll do the smaller one here. We're not going to have this, so we're just going to have. I'll just check. I will have a space to draw the small one, and we're going to draw the center petal, side petal, and the side petal. So I have space, right? So here we're going to do the last one. So it's going to be a. petal tear drop sorry so we have the space for the tear drop we're going to keep this as our reference so it's going to go behind right this is going to go there and then we're going to assume that we're going to join here and this comes behind Right, so we are. So then we're going to put the small orbs out here, and we're going to draw the petal out here, the side petal, the side petal, and the side petal out here. So how much of a space? Now, if you don't find it comfortable drawing at the smaller space, ink it up. Just leave it and ink it up. That's fine. Just ink it up and leave it. So now we've done all. Now I'm going to just go ink it up in all those spaces. So I'm just going to use a little to my pen. My pen is sticking a little, so I'm just going to take a little broader pen to ink it up. So this runs a little faster for me. Okay, let's finish here part of it. So I'm just going to ink up all the spaces here. These all these tear drops are making it dark. 
now if you want to do it in dark if you want to do it in color then you can choose if you're comfortable choose a color you can use instead of black you can use a the color there right so all the space which is there in between i'm going to ink it up just take your time and ink it up slowly your time inking it up now this space what is there i plan to do the same thing out here but little different if you want you can use the same nayu out here same nayu out here or you can just ink it up you can leave it just ink it up and may look it or you can shade it in a different color and bring it up kind you can that i'm going to leave it but i'm going to just going to draw or you can draw an nr drums out here but i'm not going to use nr drums i'm going to use something which is just similar so what i've done is this is on my practice one pre session i do always a create a tile so so i've done that take your time and the inking itself is such a relaxing process you see that this hand is steady and this tile keeps moving that's why it's more comfortable using the tile Now, if you want to do a free flow, you can just draw one square and then just draw it. It need not be like this in a row. This is like a border. What I've done, you can do a little organic.
how are you liking this pattern now you n a y u mary b this is called n a y u nayu alexina thanks gracious rnz hi nancy hi linda that's fine marig b i think i have i hope it gets saved on the uh my instagram on my ig tv so you should be able to see it so i'm just going back and drawing all these small lines that gives a nice otherwise they look little black So we are kind of inked up, right? So what we'll do is we will uh, shade it up. Uh huh. I haven't inked the space. the other part but before that what i'm going to just going to do a broader just on the broad line i'm just going to draw graphite and i'm just going to ink it up i'm sorry i'm going to just pull it up this particular space i'm just going to first go use my pencil i'm just going to draw nice big round and i'm just going to use my petal out here Just use the petals to draw it out here. So if you want, you can draw this petal a little more broader. This, right? So then I take my pen. I'm just going to find with this bigger thick pen. Just going to make those odd. Because I just wanted to go with this pattern, so that's the reason I thought. particular place like i've taught you if you can just thicken it up that gives a little nice effect right so what we teach in this class one hour is just to enjoy the process so we come for our sessions we give you more attention look at what you're doing and appreciate it because we can get to see it online here i draw and then you send it then we appreciate but not so in a class you get to do it online and we get to see it we get to exchange admire and when you need support mentoring and guiding that will be given right and i'm just going to draw the same kind of a and 
and if you see at the tip it becomes little less space power uh, pressure so So you'll repeat the same thing out here. Uh, Grima, we do we did a pattern called Nayu today, and that's by a Japanese certified zendangle teacher. Uh, Japanese certified Zendangle teacher have an event to go with the monsoon rainy season, rainy season. So, to support them, I have chosen a tangle pattern from the certified Zendangle teacher by Emi Eniko. The event is for everyone. So to show my support for them, I have chosen the pattern. So now you, so now you is drawn very simple. Let's see, we have time. Maybe you could draw, look at my saved IGTV. I hope I get to save the recording of this session. If you finish with our shading and everything, maybe I'll do a quick demo let's see can't promise because it's already nine o'clock So I've just used this pattern out here as this. You can draw the same Nayu or you can just ink it up or you can color it up. So that's completely. So we're using this pattern today. You can draw it as organic pattern, free flowing. I've drawn it in a as a band or a border. what I had completed this is thing and this is the thing and this is another one what I did it's like a border and I've just given a little shading effect to give like a, a cloth cloth or something a pattern on the cloth or a curtain or something right, so let's do the shading I'm not going to do much of the shading. I'm just going to do very light shading. I'm just going to do on the tip. Right. And I'm just going to pull the graphite. I'm not doing on the individual flowers or anything. So. small ones just putting a little of your graphite and just pulling it up just to give them a little effect Pulling it up a little, 
just very little so if you see the number of the amount of graphite i put is also very light right so just making it little more switching of the light to just show you the effect of the pattern right and here also we're going to do the same thing that's it Right towards the corner and just pull it up. Just in the so our tile is ready. I am not going to. You can actually do a shading of these at these edges also. <coughs> these edges of the flower. see that <coughs> right you can take your pen again and just give a border just give a border to it outside the line so how did you like the pattern did you enjoy the session like the session see the same thing but a little of different shading and out there and a little of different so they look different here agree or not the same tile they look little different And if you see here, I have left it to just show. So I have done a little kind of a shading and bead kind of a stuff. And here I have not done it. But it's just that they look different. But if you do it, it is nice. If you don't do it also, it is nice. If you like the session, just leave a comment on my HTV, which I would save it. And uh, just, just wanted to. So these are something which I've done it, which I put it to look in the live is much better than the photo. So I thought I'll just share it. So, so when you do colors, it's a sep separate classes. I take it. So, if you're interested, you can message me. So, right. So, hope you enjoyed it. Those are color. This is only in brown and mustard and your brown and a black. So, bicolor and multicolor and the single black and white. I always admire black and white. So I love enjoying doing black and white. So 
this may end up being a little color so that's why i've been a little subtle on the color shading so this might end up in color i'm not sure about it so maybe i'll my polychromas will call me to faber castle to do it so hope you guys enjoyed it so i've used a japanese pattern called uh, nayu and let's this is also was another one what i did it right so just keep it all just to admire the same pattern can look that's my journal small journal I need to take my. This was a pattern which was uh, published sometime uh, late last year. I played around with it. I think I played with a Delft, a blue color also on a white. So I played with a couple of them. Um, I'm not able to find by my because I've kept them all inside. So you missed the dragonfly. Hold on, I'll show it. This is the dragonfly, and this is the another organic. Actually, I started following a certified and angle teacher. She's from German, but somewhere down the line, I took a deviation. So this is a new pattern which is published by uh, one of our certified and angle Neha by Nephi. This is another uh, tangler from India, seven flowers, and this is we had done it in one of our sessions in last. Thing this was, and this also we have done Zante. We have done it. So all those started come coming inside the style and color. It went into a full fledged color. So hola. to all of you have a nice week stay safe till we catch up next tuesday this is this is a pattern by same person certified and angle teacher this is the same pattern by her i have been just i was in the evening i was exploring and trying it out so so let's see see you all Uh, yeah, they are there. The whatever I have shown you, they are there on my post on my feed, which I posted in the last two days, and these will get posted today or tomorrow. So see you all next week. Do share, do share it my Insta with your friends, and let them also enjoy. Let them also create, and or if they don't want to create, they can watch it. So do spread it. See you all. Thanks for joining in. Good night.